I've been waiting two months to finally get in. Knew it was just a matter of time until the master would want another artist. Yeah, he seems to go through a lot of them. You're not concerned about why that is or what he does with the ones he doesn't want anymore? Concern? We don't have to worry about that anymore. We, we don't have to worry about anything anymore. That's the whole point. How did you get invited with an attitude like that? I'm a journalist. The master wanted an interview. That's it. Then I'm out. Wait, so you want to go back out? Why would anybody want to go back out to that hellhole? Quarantine's over. You're free to go in. Put your arms out on either side of you. Again? Or you can leave. You won't need these. I'll get that back, right? All of that back? Welcome to Prosperous. Tribune. Um, what's it like working for someone who calls himself the master? Hey. Can I ask you some questions about your job? Excuse me, can I get a gin and tonic and a Coke and Jack for my friend? Thank you. Bourbon on the rocks? Mm, I can't reach can't reach. My arms are too short. time. How long have you guys been here? Not all at once now. <laughs> Come on, one of you guys must have something to say. You. Yeah, you. What do you do with your time here? Get high. <laughs> That's it? That's all you do is get high? Sometimes I dance. <laughs> so you get high and you dance. That's it? That's all you guys want to do with your lives? This, this isn't exactly the place you get a PhD. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Okay, so not very good kids at school then? School. School in itself is bullshit. All it ever did was give us menial tests to pretend like they're teaching us shit, when all they're doing is lining their pockets with more money. Oh, we do it for the children. Bullshit. Well, I guess you could say the school system is flawed, but it's not just about what you're taught. Does it look like I give a shit what you think? Okay, we're getting off track. No, I'm done talking. What was that? Hello? Anyone?
Hey there, doll. <laughs> you look like you've seen a ghost. What? Oh my god. Well, sit down before you faint. Don't worry. It happens to every newbie. Well, this... I don't really know what just happened. I thought I saw... Don't worry. you pretty little head about it. Everything will be just fine. But here. Have a drink. That's it. There's no need to think about all that bad stuff while you're safe in here. Drink in the fresh air. Feel the sun on your face. The sun? Just close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Deep breaths. Think so hard on yourself. How long can you stand holding all that misery? You don't fucking know me. <laughs> oh, are you the fresh meat? What? She doesn't look like a painter. But no, no, I'm a journalist. A journalist? How did a journalist end up in here? I was invited, actually. Do you have a problem with journalists? No, not really. Except the fact that you're all hacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the Tribune. I don't do tabloids. We don't care. We were invited here first. Why in the world would I give two shits about what anyone else in here is doing? No, this is for the outside world. The outside? You mean you people haven't ripped each other apart yet? <laughs> <laughs> Forget I said anything. Wait, hang on. If you're going back out there, can you tell my mom something? Yeah, sure, of course. Tell her she's a saggy old hag who couldn't see the truth, even if it slapped her in the ass, and that she deserves to have blood coming out of every hole in her body from the Red Plague for what a bitch she is. <laughs> <laughs> it's people like you that really piss me off. You think just because you got here first, you're somehow better than everyone else? Well, I've got some news for you. You're nothing. No one cares about you. You're insignificant. And why do I know that? Why do I know anything about you? Because I know what it's like to lose someone. And I know that people who laugh like this have never known the misery of losing someone you love. It's people like me who deserve to be here. Not some high life scum who have never even known a day of living in your entire sorry lives. Miss, the Honorable Master will see you now. I don't know what you want me to do. I've been busy. You need to make time. You'll regret it when I'm gone. Don't talk like that. You're gonna get better. I just, I have to keep working and figuring everything out in the meantime. Eventually, you're gonna have to face it. I think I know how to face difficult situations. Professional detachment and your personal life aren't the same thing. I know. Then don't look away. Not from me or whatever comes next.
The distinguished master will be with you shortly. Ah, the fabled journalist. I hear you've been making quite the waves in my humble abode. Tell me, how are you liking Prosperous? The master? Please, just, just master. Right. Well, I'll be asking the questions here. And let me tell you, I have a lot. I'm sure you do. Please, ask away. The clock in the red room? What is that? It's a clock. No, but there's something wrong with it. If this place is supposed to eliminate all misery, then why does a clock even exist? I'm sorry to disappoint you. As I said before, it's just a mere clock. Nothing more, nothing less. However, if you fear something as simple as a clock, I'm afraid there might be something more wrong with you rather than the place itself. <laughs> you honestly believe all the things you say about this place? Well, of course. Because it's true. You see, the outside world, it, it doesn't matter in here. You don't have to worry about suffering or death. You're not going mad with the crushing weight of the world on a break. I mean, isn't that what you want? To forget the pain? Yeah, I, I think it's time for me to go. You could stay if you like. My invitation wasn't permanent. But I can easily make it so. For I know the terrible, terrible loss that you have experienced. Please, I'm, I'm simply here to help you. You don't know anything about me. And what happens when you finish your story, hmm? How then will you stay the tide of despair in a world where death is around every corner. You said yourself that you deserve to be here, and I believe you do. So please, stay, and let me help you. Just look at me. The whole reason I'm here is because I ran away. Thank you for your time. I've learned all I needed to know. I don't think you understand. You see, I have already made your stay here. Perfect. Get off I'm me. trying to save Get you. Me here. Who are you? Who? 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 Thank you.